Hello folks. Today I am shooting something that is a little bit new to me. Uh, it's a flintlock. Uh, I love muzzle loaders, but uh, I'd always just shot cap lock. And, uh, or I'd always owned. I, I'd shot a, I guess the first muzzle loader I ever shot was actually a flintlock, a friend of mine that got me into shooting. And, uh, but it's a little bit different beast versus a cap lock. And, uh, but I, I would go to uh, uh, some matches and shoot around a lot of the older gentlemen and most of them shot flint locks and they shot very well with them. And uh, one of them told me, he said, when you get a flint lock, you need to set your cap locks over in the corner and get used to that flint lock and learn it very well. And that's what I've tried to do. Uh, this in here actually uh, was made by a good friend of mine, Bob Wilson, uh, made this gun. And uh, I had shot some matches with Bob and uh, uh, I'd, I'd heard a lot of good things about him and I'd seen his rifles around uh, some of the matches that other other guys owned and uh, I looked at this one here he was uh, he was in the process of building it and uh, I think uh, from what he told me somebody had backed out on him and I told him I said well if you just finish it up then let me know and I'll take it off your hands and he, he did this is a uh, it's a 45 caliber uh, it's a maple stock uh, it's a Davis double set triggers, Siler lock. It's got a 42 inch uh, Green Mountain barrel on it and uh, brass hardware. It's not the fanciest guns. It's not got a lot of inlay, but it's just, I guess you'd say a, a hunter's gun or just a good a good shooter's gun. I definitely don't have rifles to be safe queens. I, I like to get out and shoot them, but he did a phenomenal job on everything on it. Uh, say the, you see the toe plate and the, and the butt plate there is, uh, is brass, but uh, it's a good shooter. Uh, I've had it about three weeks, but the weather here, just like it in where I'm in Georgia, and the weather's been just crazy. So I've, I've, I've shot it enough to know that I liked it, uh, but today we had a little break in the weather, and uh, so I thought, well, I'll get out here and uh, try to hone it in a little bit, a little bit better. And uh, anytime you can get out and shoot, it's definitely a good day. Uh, but what I'm shooting, I'm just shooting uh, cardboard and stuff like that down range. I'm not, I'm not hunting this rifle. Uh, I'm using 45 grains of GoX 3F powder. And I am shooting a bit uh, thicker pillow ticking than what I typically shoot. Uh, usually it's about 13 to 15 thousandths I'm shooting. This is 18 thousandths. A little thicker, but it seems like it's, uh, this gun likes a little bit tighter, uh, tighter patch. I'm shooting a uh, a 440 round ball uh, that I, I poured myself. Uh, I've got a Lee 440 mold, and uh, it seems to be uh, seems to be working pretty good. So uh, let's we'll see if we can't get something going down range here. Yeah, the wind uh, and rain here lately, just like everywhere, it's, just, it's been crazy trying to, especially side a, side a rifle in. And uh, uh, if you've got, you know, 15, 20 mile an hour wind gusts on one side to the next, it's kind of hard to tell where you're hitting. But today we've had a little bit of break in it and uh, we've made pretty good progress on it. And I'm, I'm tickled uh, with how it's shooting. It, it's shooting very, very good. Uh, but it's a good filling rifle. I'd say this rifle probably weighs around a seven pound range, but it fits your shoulder very well. I'm just shooting off a bench here because I was setting, setting my sights, filing them down best I could. And I still want to get out here and probably do a little more fine tuning once a little bit better. We're, when we were having some pretty good wind today, uh, but I, I think I'm definitely in the ballpark. Uh, the fun factor is definitely there. So uh, let's see what we can do right down here on this target. I like it. It's uh, This gun is a, a way better shooter than what I am. I can say that about any gun that I own, but uh, if you don't shoot flint locks uh, or if you don't shoot muzzle loaders, I highly recommend it. Uh, I think I'm just scratching the surface of of, uh, of the flintlock for me. Uh, it's just a it's just a just a neat gun. I like them. It's simple, uh, but it's a uh, 
it's one here that that I that I think the cool factor is definitely up there. Uh, Bob Wilson, he, he he did a phenomenal job on this. Uh, I, I thank him for it. And uh, but uh, we're gonna try to shoot a few more here uh, before the the rain sets in on us. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Y'all take care.